Welcome back to North Wales in a series that has been showcasing some of the best scenery from mountains to coastlines, through to the area's heritage, stunning hikes and nature at its best. If you're joining me for the first time, I've spent the past week hitting the hiking trails of the spectacular Glidders, Snowdon's quiet Rydthu path and lesser known paths around Cumbachin and the quarries in Llamberis as well as exploring the National Trust's Bodnant Gardens with its blaze of colour and undertaking a road trip around Anglesey, exploring abandoned copper mines, coastal brickworks and a gorgeous island lighthouse during golden hour. In today's episode, I'll be hiking another mountain, Connect, with breathtaking views from the top but a much easier ascent than most others in Snowdonia National Park. It packs a real punch. If during the video you find yourself enjoying it, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel so that you can join me in my North Wales adventures. This morning we've taken a slightly longer drive than what we've done for the rest of this week to a village called Croesaw. It's a tiny hamlet that was built up to house the quarrymen who worked in the two nearby quarries. But the reason why we've come here today is because it is the starting point to hike up this mountain here called Connect. We've barely even scratched the surface of this hike and already it's been absolutely stunning. We've come into this slight wooded area that is just filled with moss attached to pretty much everything from the farmer's stone walls to the trees, the boulders on the ground. And then the ground is just dappled with hundreds of bluebells and the sun's just every now and again sort of coming in and out because it's like a cloudy with blue skies kind of day today. And the tweeting of the birds is just lovely to listen to. One of the things about this particular hike is that we are potentially going to see some ravens. So I'll keep both an eye out for them, but also an ear out to hear their quite unique call. The trails brought us out to an amazing viewpoint of Connect, just to give us a bit of an idea as to where we're hiking to and how high we're going to have to climb. And this mountain is fondly named the Welsh Matterhorn, just because from this angle, it does look a little bit like the Matterhorn over in the Alps.
walker of a walk this is turning out to be. I started to hear rumbling in the air and it was a fighter jet and I just assumed that it was echoing around the valley but then there were even more that followed and what's quite scary is that they weren't even going at full speed. pit stop to refuel just with some barrel breath that I sliced up and buttered prior to us coming out on this walk. Officially refueled with that barrel breath and I'm ready to keep on tackling this mountain. We're choosing to do this hike as a there and back in part because today is our last full day here in Snowdonia National Park and um, because we've got an Airbnb cottage it just means that we're going to have to get packed up and tidied up a little bit but it is possible to do a longer circular trail if you are doing like what we're doing which is there and back it probably doesn't matter quite so much but the view behind me is absolutely stunning and i think it's one of those hikes that if you are doing it as a circular don't forget to stop turn around and admire that view because you can see the sprawling beaches and then the waters and i think perhaps yesterday had the weather not been too bad we probably would have had a similar view out over the coast from Snowdon but if you haven't seen that vlog this is pretty much what we were walking through yesterday so this has been our first hike where we've been able to have the views of the sands and the sea. Very close to the top now but we do have one very steep scramble up this last part to get to the summit. Raven! Yeah.
So, slight change of lunch today. I've got chicken and bacon because we had a chicken, bacon, and mushroom risotto last night, which we still had chicken and bacon left over from. So, chicken and bacon sandwiches, and what a view of Snowdon, but still shrouded in cloud around the top. So, it doesn't make me feel quite so bad for yesterday's venture up there where it was shrouded in cloud, but I'm gonna refuel now with these sandwiches. Eating lunch, just staring out onto this view, it's given us a really good amount of time to digest everything that we're lucking out onto. And we've realized that despite having driven a very different way to get to this trailhead, we're not far at all from the trail that we did back on Sunday, which was a really nice National Trust one that was very gentle, a lot more gentle than this one. And I can see just over in the distance, the actual path that we took up over the hill to then get down the, I suppose like the, the quarry tracks where you had the pylons left over from the aerial tramway. And we can also see Snowdon Mountain and we can see the ridge that yesterday we were hiking along, but we had no sight idea of how much of a drop there was on either side just because we were in the thick of the clouds. Obviously reading the OS map we could see that from the contours that there was definitely going to be a drop on either side of the path, but actually getting to look out onto it today it really starts to put into perspective just what we did yesterday where we hiked to. Obviously the cloud now has moved off the peak of it so uh, had we done that today we would have been getting glorious views but I think um, given how few parties there are up on the top of Connect today I'm quite pleased that we're here rather than up Snowdon because I imagine that the crowds are probably crazy on there given the, the much warmer weather and the blue skies that we've got. Truly, truly stunning views. It's, it's lovely. It's great. Hiking Connect has been an absolute cracker of a mountain. I personally really like it when you're not at the highest point in a mountainous range and instead you're nestled in amongst them all, which is exactly the type of view that Connect gives. I'd say that it was a little bit boggy and a little bit muddy in some places. So if you're coming straight after it's been raining for weeks and weeks on end, you might want to make sure that you've got some waterproof boots on. But for the vast majority of it, it wasn't boggy. It was only in little areas. You definitely want to be okay with scrambling as well because particularly in the last section there were some bits where I was having to use like hands as well as feet to be able to get myself up. People said that this is like an easier mountain and if I compare it to the glitters that we did on the bank holiday Monday and Snowden that we did yesterday I would definitely agree with that but one thing that is probably worth mentioning is that I think mentally I wasn't quite prepared. I was thinking oh, it's going to be really really easy and I remember falling into exactly the same fault sense of security when I hiked Stack Polly up in Scotland last summer. People were saying how easy it was for the kind of views that you got. So I hiked it thinking that it was going to be a lot easier than what it was. And I, th I think today mentally I was prepared for something a bit easier than what it actually was. But when comparing it to other mountains, this, this one is this one is good and it is pretty easy in comparison. We have struggled big time to try and find cafes and restaurants that have been open this week. So the fact that this sign saying that it's open until six means that as a reward for having hiked that mountain, we're off to try and find something to treat ourselves with. such a great reward for getting down to the bottom of the mountain. We were sat next to a fireplace, which was like a real log burner. We were saying that in the chillier months, I'm sure it's absolutely lovely to come off of that mountain there and go inside and just warm up. But it was so cute. Had loads of fairy lights and loads of bunting hanging off of the ceiling. If you come and do this hike, I'd highly recommend popping into the cafe as well.